guys, go to school. <laughs> the role of the education consultative group is to actually provide access and opportunities, or to ensure access and opportunities are, are there for Aboriginal people in education and training. And today we're actually, over the last few weeks, we've uh, you know helped support the, the, the coming together of a, a STEM camp, which is uh, about science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And it's about trying to engage um, kids, particularly Aboriginal kids, in, in the sciences and maths because, uh, you know, to encourage their learning in academia and make sure that, you know, that kids can actually see that there's opportunities related to, to becoming a scientist and and, uh, and anything in ma mathematics or engineering. And I guess, you know, who knows, the first Aboriginal kid in space. On the moon, I weigh 6.2 kilos. Push me. <laughs> when he pushed me, did you notice that he went backwards? Yeah. Even though he was trying to push me forwards, he had to go backwards because it's like pushing against a brick wall. And that's exactly how rockets work. What they have is they've got the fuel in the booster and there's a nozzle down the bottom and you fire that fuel and it shoots out the bottom. We have a budget of $30 to make a boat to stay afloat for magnets that are people. Today we made a craft boat and we beat the record with 422 marbles and the old record was 105 I think. So you can see that little bit of wind we got sort of popped up that way. See, at the moment though, I'd say that's well, reasonably circular, right? and we had to program it to do a maze. This is our boy, and then we're going to have to take it. That's it. You got it. You can go. Keep going. Take it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at our planets to start with. So does anyone know why we're able to look at the sun through the telescope? Because, uh, um, thing here we've got so a special, dark. yeah, we've got a special filter on there. So you tell me what you see. Yellow circle. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I can only see four doors. Good work. No, you're doing well. It's better learning the way we are now, away in here in Dubbo, than learning in the classroom. Because like there's, we with different people, we're doing learning like different cultural ways. I scored Beyonce because she is my favourite sim pop artist. The way I sort of got to where I am was just a chipping away process, bit by bit, you know, working through the problem, going through the ups and downs of it, and in the end, you know, you get yourself over the line, you look back and you go, did I really accomplish that? I'm based at the uni, I'm seeing more and more students coming in, um, the Indigenous students going on to do PhDs, they're coming in, they're doing more science, they're doing dentistry, um, yeah, there's all engineering students as well, so they're definitely coming through and it's good to see.
we're making a fractal card out of cardboard today and we're going to make it look like all triangles and this is going to be the background. Coming on this camp has made me um, really want to see if I could go to university because the, there's a lot of Aboriginal people here that have gone really far even from a bad background and it's made me think um, maybe I could do that too and go to university and do what I want. The kids have learnt a lot of teamwork skills with different people, getting out of their comfort zone, but most importantly uh, the application of uh, science and technology and the industries that job prospects for our Indigenous students can provide. The students just gave us some fabulous feedback about what activities they loved and all of them were covered from robotics to doing algebra to doing fractal and it was just delightful to read that they really enjoyed going to the dish at parks. You're learning with them because you're learning about what they know, what they don't know, what they're interested in and that's really important for educators because if we're going to ensure that our students get the very best, that they're engaged and they're being responsive, we need to give them the opportunities to do so. So thank you, big thank you to AECG and Chris Matthews for a fantastic organisation and a great camp. Yalla. And this song is called Every Single Day. So I hope you take this away with you. See that soul mill over the road My father carrying a heavy load Sometimes I'd watch him walk back home 